Welcome back. In the first 11 chapters of Romans, you'll notice that Paul doesn't very often tell us how to live or what to do. There aren't a lot of commands from God, not many imperatives. But then, as we begin chapter 12, the story changes. Now that we're living in view of God's mercy, now that we have this clear picture of how we need God, how we need His forgiveness, and how God has given us that forgiveness in Jesus, given it to us lavishly, made us His children, nothing can separate us from His love. Now that we comprehend the mercy of God, now we watch the transformation take place. The book of Romans is a book about righteousness, our need for it, and how God gives it to us in Jesus. We've been rejoicing in that gift since the third chapter. And now, as we get to chapters 12, 13, 14, we start to see that righteousness is not just a matter of something that God does in our hearts or in our minds. It's something that happens in our lives, in what we do. And so as you read this section of scripture, you're going to find one command come right after the other. They're going to come rapid fire. You'll have a lot to think about, a lot to talk about, a lot to reflect on as you think about your own life. But as you think about all of these commands, all of this direction that God gives us for how we live, do it in view of God's mercy. That's how the chapter begins. That's the theme that stays with us as we think about how God calls us to live. Always it comes in view of what God has already done for us. He's made you his child. He's forgiven your sins. He has loved you in Jesus. And since that's true, we live in a new way. May God bless your study of his word.